Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Organizer, a home lab dashboard, in Docker. To begin, get logged into the device that we're going to install Docker on. We'll start by using apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to get Docker installed. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository, followed by another apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Container D. With the Docker components running, we'll make sure the Docker service is started and enabled, add the current user to the Docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group changes to take effect. Now we're ready to start creating containers. We'll start by creating a working directory for the organizer container to store persistent data in. Then we'll set ownership on the new directory. We'll use the id command to output the current user id and group id. Then using the docker run command, we'll create our organizer container. Note the pgid and puid environmental variables should match the output of the id command. Open a web browser and navigate to the random.org URL in the video description to generate a random string. Copy the generated string to your clipboard to be used later. Then navigate in the web browser to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host, colon 8880. Set the install type dropdown to personal, then click next. Create a new organizer account by entering a username, email address, and password, then click next. Paste the random string in your clipboard in the hash key field, then enter a registration password, and click next. Set the database name field to organizer.db, then set the database location field to slash config slash www slash organizer slash data. Click the test slash create path button, then click next. Review the summary page, then click finish. Welcome to Organizer, running containerized inside Docker.